this is my newest project tractor I picked up. I uh, traded it for my uh, 40, 51 broom. It's a John Deere 425. And when I got it, it wasn't in pieces, obviously. But, um, needed nothing. It just runs and drives and it cuts. But I am currently in the process of restoring it. Cosmetically restoring it. Um, so, right now, I'm kind of doing, juggling a lot of things, what I'm doing right now. I am working on this. Um, I can clean this up. Not too concerned about this. I'm just going to scrape as much as I can off and sand it down, get rid of all the rust. Because this will be covered up by the foot pan, any the foot thing anyway. It's going to make sure that there's no rust to spread. But, not, I'm going to spend too much time on that. Just enough so it doesn't rust up again and yeah working on cleaning it out because it was packed with mud and that's why it uh rusted out it has these pretty cool ATV tires on it they grab really good actually so I might run those for a little bit um I get new front tires but yeah it has a 20 horsepower look good cooled Kawasaki has the cam upgrade in it and he did everything to this thing. I mean, he put new bushings, and he put a new spindle on this side, new tie rods. He even took the time to put new spark plug wires on it. Full tune-up, oil, air filter, transmission, fluid, coolant, everything gone through. It was just in rough condition. Um, one of the headlights is out of it. I have it up in the house. I'm going to split these. And uh, clean these up inside because they're all fogged up inside. So I got some uh, headlight lens repair. And uh, I'm going to see how that works out. I got some steel wool. And I've done it in the past and it turned out really good. I did it on my truck and it looked like new. The headlights and it's a 97 Chevy so those headlights always fog up and they're always fogged up. But it made it look like new. And it sure helped visibility when driving. But yeah, um, here is the fender pan. I already have sanded down. I primered it. And I have three coats of paint on it at the moment. Uh, I'm going to do a total of five. Because um, I guess that's the golden ticket to make, these look, make it look like a professional job with rattle can. Um, yeah, so I have to do two more coats today and then uh, I'm going to clear coat it in three weeks once this all hardens and releases some chemicals and whatnot. But yeah, pretty pleased with it so far. Here's the old hood for it. Uh, I have a new one on the way already. Somebody found it, as you can see. Yeah, this thing's junk. So, got a new one on the way. The grill is in mint shape, so that's good. Eh, side panel's in fair condition. This is the only thing broken on it right here. And, uh, the tabs popped off too, right there. Just cracked there, but this is usable and it looks decent. Looks pretty nice on it. So I'm going to pop the screen out, sand that down, prime it. And I'm still kind of debating if I want to paint this green or paint it black. I'm not too sure. Might just do it green again, but we'll see. Um, yep. So I have to get a side panel for the other side because the other side is screwed. It's destroyed. Yeah. But this thing runs really good. It needs a little bit of car adjusting. I just have to adjust it. It doesn't like cold starts too much. But it's not just a dry shaft or anything. I have to get a new gauge cluster for it. Because it doesn't really work. I should take this out of here. Screws before I start it.
Here's your old headlight, tail and taillight things. Those are junk too, so I have to get new of those. So, start her up. Batteries being toast as well. Sometimes you have to give it a little bit of throttle. Ooh. Now it's starting to die. Ah. Nice. Well, that was kind of a fail start. As I said, I need to adjust the carburetor a little bit. So, yeah, but that's not too hard. A little adjusting, it should be good. Once you get it running, it, fire, it runs amazing. It's just it doesn't like cold. Even though it's not too cold in here, it just needs a little fine tuning. But that's really no big deal. It's easy enough. And if I have to spray out the carburetor, I have to spray out the carburetor. It's not too hard. But yeah, a little fine tuning should be good. And this thing has, has been spoiled. For the past two years, it's been in a heated garage, not being used for two years. So, it also has bad gas in it. It has probably bad gas in it, so. Run some sea foam through it, probably will clear it up just fine. Um, yeah. We also did the heads. Pulled the heads off, lapped them, adjusted them, new valve seats and that. Because I know these Kawasaki's, they, after a certain amount of hours, you know, they kind of need attention with heads. Our gauge is screwed up too. It says it's just going over four, but I ran this thing quite a bit and it didn't change one bit, so I think somebody at one point took this apart and was messing with it. It's not even in there too good. So yeah, well I think that might work. I think we have a new headlight bezel for it. I have that as a uh, gauge cluster. So, yeah. This will be a fun little project here. I hope to at least get this back together by next week. Um, hopefully everything will be painted by then. Maybe my hood will be in by then, and I can paint that as well. Scuff it up a little bit and paint it. Yeah, let's see. Is this tacky or not? Yeah, it's tacky. I've just been using the middle here to test if it's tacky or not because it's going to be covered up by a seat anyways. So, this whole thing covers up the seat. I mean, that area. Also going to get a new seat for it too. Because that will mean having this seat on it will mean that it'll break more because simplicity. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm going to get a tall back John Deere seat eventually, pretty soon. I know my work has one. So probably when I get this thing all back together again, I'll splurge and buy a nice seat for it. Because this is going to be my main mower now. 318 is retiring as mowing tractor. It's just going to run the loader. Getting rid of my other 318. And my other 318, my really crappy 318, that thing, I already kind of took it apart and built one good 318 out of it. Yeah, I do have a three-point on the way for it, but I'm thinking maybe just selling it and putting a three-point on the back of this, because I, I will use this a lot more. I would use a three-point a lot more in this than a 318. Because this thing obviously can handle more than the 318. I mean, I can already just stack my weights up front. And, uh, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. I hope to get a plow for it. You know, that'd be really neat. Get a plow, three-point plow for the back. That'd be cool. Yeah, well, tell me you guys think about this thing. Too bad the battery died. Or else, or else I would have started it for you guys. But, yeah, it happens. Plus, you know, it's a, it's a never start. So, what do you expect? I mean, yeah. Yeah, see, it's a never start. So, what do you expect?
<laughs> Take a picture of that. There we go. Yeah, 2013. Right now it's 2018. So, yeah, battery's dead. It's just about done. These batteries suck anyways. Walmart special deal or whatever. But, yeah. Clean up those connections and uh, put a new battery in it. Genuine John Deere battery from my work. Yeah. Yeah, well, tell me you guys think about this thing. It'll be a nice little project, and I cannot wait to show you guys when it's done. Hopefully pretty soon. See you then.